This is the brand new text to image EA King. Hello humans, when we scale you over and boy oh boy do I have some mind blowing stuff for you today. Because yes, you heard it right, we have a brand new text to image EA King that was just released out of nowhere called Z Image Turbo. A super tiny 6 billion parameters model beast that somehow delivers state of the art quality, super fast generation speed, amazing prog following and is completely uncensored. And all of that while running on less than 8 gigabytes of VRAM. This is mind-blowing. The EA community is on fire right now and I couldn't believe what I was seeing. It is really that good. So today I'll show you how to install it, how to run it locally and on RunPod and show you how to get the best results possible. So that being said, sit back, relax and let's go. And to install Z Image Turbo you have two ways. The first is of course by using my one-click installer that is available for my Patreon supporters. Just download the file to your computer, then double click it, it will then ask you which model you want to download depending on the amount of VRAM that you have. So if you have less than any gigabytes of VRAM, you're gonna choose number 1. If you have a GPU between 8 and 12, you're gonna choose option number 2. And if you have more than 12, you can choose option number 3. Since I have more, I'm gonna choose option number 3 and then press enter. And this will download and install Comfy UI and all the nodes and models that you need to run the Z Image Turbo. Simple as that, you don't need to do anything. And then once Comfy UI is installed, make sure that you update it to the very last version by going inside the update folder and running the update Comfy UI .bat file. And once it's done and you are running Comfy UI, for this video I prepared a special Z Image Turbo workflow that you can find on my Patreon. So just download the workflow onto your computer and then drag and drop it inside Comfy UI. And there we go. Now we can finally have some fun. Okay, so now that this is done, what makes this Z Image Turbo model so special and why the AI community cannot stop talking about this model? Well, the Z Image Turbo is a 6 billion parameter model, once again released by Alibaba, so the same people that made One or Quen Image or Quen Image Edit and more. And although it is only a 6 billion parameter model, that can run on less than 8 gigabytes of VRAM, it offers absolutely insane quality and generation speed. This is really like state of the art image quality model. And also what's really cool is that apparently this model is only a distilled version of a future base model coming very soon, as well as another image edit model that will be released as well. And seeing how good the turbo model is, I really cannot wait for the base model to be released. Okay, so end of talking, let's actually start having fun, let's generate a few images and see how good and well it performs. Now I'll also show you all the things that I added in this workflow. So first we'll start with the very basics, the text to image version. If you've never used my workflows before, right here you have this little button that allows you to enable the workflow that you want to use. Here make sure that you're using the correct model that was downloaded for your GPU. In my case, I have the Q8 version, but for you it might be different. Then here, if there are any lowers available when you're watching this video, you can add them right here. But for now, the model is way too recent, so there are no lowers available right now. Here, you're gonna input your prompt. So let's say something like, like a selfie of a warrior woman in a cyberpunk street. Here, you can either enable or disable the film grain as well as sharpening. I do recommend leaving these two enabled if you're generating photorealistic images otherwise you can disable film grain but you can leave it most of the time here you're gonna input your resolution but you can leave everything else by default and then once this is done you're gonna click run and this is what we get an absolutely amazing photorealistic image of this cyberpunk warrior woman in the street with an absolutely insane quality and all of that generated in only a few seconds I mean it is really insane it is exceptionally good I mean I cannot believe Believe that this can be run with less than 8 gigabytes of VRAM. This is next level stuff. And I gotta say the Z Image Turbo is extremely good at photorealistic images. Like if I try another prompt and another resolution, 
If now I click run, we can get some cool picture like this. As you can see, I mean, this is absolutely beautiful, absolutely amazing image, photorealistic with a lot of movement, a lot of effects. And I mean, I gotta say, this looks really, really good. And once again, it was generated in only a few seconds. Like that is really crazy. And of course, we can keep going. Different prompt, different resolution, but still same spectacular results. I mean, this is a fantastic image. I mean, look at the quality of the generation, the details on the clothes, on the face, on the image itself. I mean, this is insane, just incredible. Like here is the photo of a witch, for example, which is once again, like such an incredible image. I mean, it's so realistic. It's so, so scary. It's good. I mean, it follows the prompt so well with such speed and such quality that I've never generated an image like that with a local model, like ever. Like this is a revolution and all of that with less than 8 gigabytes of VRAM. Like no wonder why the community is on fire right now. And of course, it can do more than just photos. It can do a lot of different things as well. Like for example, something like this, like a woman creature made of grass and flowers, which once again, I mean, it looks so good. I mean, look at the details. Like once again, this is just super impressive. And once again, I mean, What's really cool is that it follows the prompt extremely well, so you can really put a lot of details and it will follow it to the T and make some absolutely looking, fantastic looking images with insane quality. It can also make some ultra super high quality illustrations and there is a big variety of art styles and artist styles. And it was also really, really good at creating some really new cool art pieces from scratch. I mean, look at this one. Just, oh my God. I mean, this is so good. This is insane. I mean, look at the quality, the details of this generation. I mean, this is absolutely next level. The colors, the composition. I have never seen something like that on a local model ever. It can also do some anime with moderate success of some famous characters, as well as text generation with fairly good success. And I mean, yeah, what do you want me to say? This model is really just incredible. It is that simple, guys. I just can't believe that we were given a model that is at the same time the most powerful model ever made, but also that can be run on small VRAM GPUs, which is really just insane. Oh, and by the way, Another thing that I also didn't mention, and I'm gonna mention right now, this model is also the most uncensored model I have ever tried. From the get-go, you can already generate, um, you know, the, uh, you know, the, uh, how can I say this, um, uh, uh, the flower, you know, the, the flower, the model knows what the flower is looks like. Meaning that once we get our hands on training tools, this is pretty much over. And what's really incredible is that once again, this is only the turbo version. This is not even the base version that will come later. I mean, yeah, it is really just mind blowing. Okay, so now that we have determined that this model is really just incredible, that this model is really just insane on every single level, let's take a look at the rest of the workflow so that I can show you what else we can do. So first, let's continue with the text to image generation. But this time, let's use the same trick that I used with Quen image when it first released. And that is actually using the same model to first generate the base image and then use the same exact model to denoise the image even further, adding even more details. So like for example, if we actually take the same exact prompt that we used to generate this woman with the same exact seed, if now I come here and I choose like the correct models with the same prompt, I'm not going to resize anything because I'm going to generate the full image from the beginning. I'm going to leave everything else by default. And now if I click run, we get something like this. And as you can see, if we actually compare them side by side, like this is the before, this is the image that was generated with the first pass of the model, and this is the after. And as you can see now, there are even more details in the image. The skin is more precise, the fur, the hair, the background, everything is just way, way more precise. Like you can even zoom in and see like the hair on her cheeks, 
Like, I don't know if you can see it on YouTube, but on my image, I can definitely see it. And just like the grain of the wood, the text that is bleeding into the wood, I mean, you can pretty much see everything. So, I mean, this workflow is a very, very nice solution, a very, very fast solution to add even more details to your already good looking image. Like once again, like this is the before and this is the after. So yeah, there is a lot of difference. And yeah, I mean, with this workflow, you can really get some really fantastic looking images that looks really, really good, super realistic. Like once again, if you like compare like the before and the after, there are definitely way more details than before. So it's definitely a huge plus to have. And I mean, yeah, the model is really capable of some incredible looking images. No matter the subject, no matter what you try, it will always deliver, which is really just amazing. Okay, so now let's actually talk about the next step, which is, well, basically the normal image to image. So once again, pretty similar stuff, choose the right model. Input your prompt, choose the denoise value. I'm gonna use something like 0.6, but you can choose more or less. Then input your image. So like this is the image that was generated with the Quen image model, which was a model that was three times bigger than Z image turbo, which is insane. And now if we click run, and this is what we get. So like this is the before and this is the after. As you can see, there is definitely a huge difference. And this model, once again, was generated with a model that is three times bigger than this one. And yet we are using this model as a diffuser, as a denoiser, to make that image look even better. I mean, yeah, this is, this is kinda insane. Okay, so the next, I have also prepared a semi-working turbo in painting workflow. Basically, once again, same thing. You're gonna input your prompt, input your image, make sure that the denoise value is high enough or else it's not gonna work. Then you're gonna input your image, then right click on the image, click on mask editor, then you're gonna mask the area that you want to change, click save, and then once it's done, you're gonna click run, and in the end we get something like this. And as you can see, I mean it works fairly well, it works pretty good, like this is the before, this is the after, as you can see nothing else moves, except the area that we inpainted. So yeah, this model can be used for inpainting as well. Although it's not gonna be like 100% perfect, I'm sure that you can still make it work fairly well for what you're looking for. And once again, this can be run locally with less than 8GB of VRAM. Just insane. But don't worry, even if you don't have such a powerful GPU or no GPU at all, you can still run the GPU for a few cents an hour on a website like RunPod and run Run Zen Image Turbo as if this was running on your local computer. So if you don't have a RunPod account already, you can click the link in the description down below and create a new account. Then you're gonna click on Pods. In here you're gonna choose a GPU, preferably with at least 24GB of VRAM, like a 4090 for example. Then you're gonna click Change Template, search for Entrepreneur and take the Comfy UI template. Then you're gonna click on Edit and make sure that you have enough space for both the container and the volume disk. Then click Set Overrides and then Deploy On Demand. Then you're Gonna wait until the pod is ready, then once it's done, you're gonna click right here, click on the manager button, then click update all, you're gonna go right here, go inside logs, click on the terminal icon, and copy and paste this line that will allow you to follow the progress of the update. Then once the update is finished, you're gonna go back, click on restart, then once it's finished, you're gonna go back, refresh the web UI by pressing F5 on your keyboard, then here you'll get the new version of Comfy UI. If for some reason you don't see the manager button, it is not a Comfy UI issue, it is actually a browser issue. So to solve this, you can simply open the URL with another browser in incognito mode, for example. So like here, for example, I'm using Edge, and here I'm running this inside Chrome in incognito mode, and as you can see, the manager button has now appeared. So then next, you're gonna go back and go inside the Comfy UI folder. So then here, if you are one of my Patreon supporters, the installation will be very easy for you because I made a special one-click installer for RunPod that you can find on my Patreon. So just download the file onto your computer, then drag and drop it inside the Comfy UI folder. Then you're gonna create a new tab, click on the terminal icon, and then you're gonna copy and paste these two lines of code that you will find in the Patreon post, and then press enter. And this will download all the files and models that you need to run the Z image turbo model on RunPod. Simple as that. And then once everything is installed, you're gonna go back, click on the manager button, click on restart, click confirm. Then once it's done, you're gonna go back, press F5 on your keyboard to refresh. And then finally, just like for the local install, you're then gonna drag and drop the workflow inside Confine UI. And there you go. 
Now ZenImage that image turbo is running on RunPod exactly as if this was running on your local computer. Simple as that. And there we go. This has been Z image turbo, the absolutely best local model right now. A model that not only can generate fantastic looking images with state of the art quality and insane speed without being uncensored or restricted, but also that can be run on low VRAM GPUs. And once we get our hands on a LoRa trainer, you can be sure that I'll be making a LoRa training video for this model. And I am very, very happy that this model was released. This is one of the most exciting model releases we've had in a very long time. And I am all for it. So that being said, definitely try this out yourself and have some fun. And there we are with folks. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you also so much for my Patreon supporters for supporting my videos. You guys are absolutely awesome. You people are the reason why I'm able to make these videos. So thank you so much. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.